Hello, hello. Sorry to be a little late, but I am here. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Selena. I'm happy that you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jolly. Hello, hello. Hello. Jose Guadron, Herson. Hello, welcome. Hello. I'm happy. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good evening, right? Okay, now uh, I will start the class. Let me. Uh, let me close some windows here and open this one. Let's start with the PowerPoint presentation, right? PowerPoint presentation here. Okay. Okay. Pre-intermediate module one, right? conversation, an invitation. And we're going to learn about the use of would and the use of verb plus two plus verb. Verb to verb, to verb, verb to verb, okay? Verb plus two plus verb, right? That, those are the two topics. We are going to cover two, two topics today. Conversation, right? And uh, that is 4.10, right? And 4.12, that is the video with the use of wood, wood, right? Okay, let's start with the lesson objective, right? Selena, can you read the objective for, for the first part, please? Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson participants, we listen to a conversation where wool for imitation is used when making plans. Very good. Thank you very much. So a conversation, right? And pay attention that uh, when we listen to the conversation, we're going to uh, check wood, wood, right? Okay, now, uh, to start, we're going to check some vocabulary, right? Only three words, soccer match, Gate and sounds fine. Please repeat after me. Soccer match. Gate. Please with the T, right? Gate. Because if you if you don't pronounce the T, it this another is another word, right? Okay, understand what word? So <laughs> okay, so please be careful, right? Gate, right? Okay, now sounds fine. Sounds fine. A soccer match is, for example, yesterday. I'm sorry for Barcelona, they lost 3 0, right? It was a disaster, but anyway, right? We continue okay, being perdió la selecta, teacher. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I did, I, oh, yes, <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, always. okay. <laughs> Good. Now, uh, so that's a soccer match. It's a soccer game, right? Soccer, soccer match. Good. Gate is a big door. For example, in the stadium, if you go to the stadium, we have big gates where all people go to the stadium, right? And some find, like I say, hey, let's go and eat some choripanes, right? Mmm, some fine. Hey, let's go and eat some carnitas. Oh, some fine, right? Let's go and eat some panes mataniños. <laughs> panes mataniños. Sounds fine, right? Sounds fine. Okay? Some taquitos. Sounds fine. Good. That's the, the, the meaning, right? Any question about the vocabulary? No. No. Okay, come on. Again, uh, this vocabulary, I, I told you, is about the conversation. Now we're going to learn the conversation, right? An invitation says, look at the picture here. <clears throat> we have uh, frogs versus dogs, right? Uh, rana versus pat. <laughs> okay, frog versus dogs, right? Go frogs, he said, go frogs. And the dog says, dogs are number one. <laughs> dogs are number one, right? And 
it's a goal of the dog, right? Los, goal, los dogs metieron un gol. <laughs> okay, now, please, listen. Dave says, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Listen, this is an invitation. Would you like to go? And Susan said, uh, thanks, I love to. What time does, the, does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? And they said, oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. So, any extra question about vocabulary? Questions? Okay, teacher. It's okay? Oh, excellent. Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Soccer match. Friday night. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Would. Would. Thanks. Th Th thanks. I'd I'd love to. What time does it start? Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. What time does it start? It start. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. Sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Want to have dinner? So, do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I like to, but I have to work late. To work late. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. No, sorry, it's more, more intensive, right? Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet. Let's just meet at the stadium. Stadium. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Around 7.30. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Why don't we meet at the gate? Gate. Meet. Don't we? Why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. That sounds fine. See you there. Teacher. Yes? En la plataforma, la conversación no es la misma. No, it's similar. Okay. 
<laughs> but he had the same uh, vocabulary, right? He had the same vocabulary. Solo cambia unas palabritas, creo, o el dibujo creo que cambia. <laughs> ¿Ok? Vamos a compararla, ¿le parece? Y, y, y si cambia alguna palabra, me, me dicen ustedes. Pero yo creo que solo el dibujo es el que cambia. La última intervención de Dave es ah, de lo verdad. que cambia. Ah, ok. Good. No problem. Thank you for, for the observation, right? Sí, es que, es que eh, tengo un material ahí que le subo para, para que lo practiquemos, ¿verdad? Pero la... Eh, a veces no copio la plataforma porque los dibujitos no son tan claros, ¿verdad? Pero sí, también a veces copiamos de la plataforma. Pero la, lo importante es que la conversación, la mayoría está la, la estructura que, que queremos, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Now, I need you help me, please, with the pronunciation. Eh, I'm going to start with José. José Guadrón, please. Listen and repeat. Only you, José. Only yes, you. Ready? Yes, now. Ready. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. I have tickets to the soccer match on, on Friday night. Cling. Excellent, right? Marvin, please, only you. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Excellent. Selena, please. Thanks. I love to. Thanks. I love to. Herson, uh, what time does it start? What time does it start? Start. Start. Es, start. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, Herson. Listen. Start. Wait, 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 Herson. We're going to make this exercise. Please repeat okay. after me. But pay attention, please. And this is for you and for everybody, right? Listen. Repeat, please. Come on, Herson. Now. Me, me escucha, no. Yes, 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 I listen. Don't worry, don't worry, I listen. Don't worry. Now, ready? Okay, ready? okay. Ready, now. Start. Come on. Start. Excellent. Now, another word. School. Come on, Herson. School. Repeat. School. Excellent. Now, student. Student. Start. Start. Okay, now, what time does it start? What time does it uh, it star. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Listen, it's difficult because in Spanish we always have a vowel at the beginning. En español casi, eh, casi siempre agregamos una vocal a al, al, las palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces por eso decimos nosotros es. Pero no, la E no va, sino que solo la S. Star, right? Okay, good. Now, the most difficult for you, Joel. Uh -huh. Question? Por ahí tengo, en el grupo está notificando Grisel que está preocupada para avisarle de que no va a estar en clase. Ah, ok. Y quiere que le notifiquemos. Va, está bien. Ahorita le mando el mensaje también. Eh, eh, Sara también, dice Sara, no podré conectarme. Y Valdés, no sé quién. Cristal. Eh, Grisel, le parece. Sí. Ahí. Ah, ok. Sorry. ¿Cómo no? Ahorita. Y preocupada la compañía. Bueno. Eh, le voy a mandar un mensaje para que ella vea también. Recuérdense, es no solo para Grisel, también para todos. Este, que si no pueden conectarse a la clase, al menos tienen la opción de, de ver el video el día de mañana. Por medio del link que les mandaron al. al a su correo, ¿verdad? Este, y ahí se conectan y ven el video mañana. Por ahí de las 10, ya es seguro que está el video subido, ¿verdad? Porque yo se lo subo en la noche y al día siguiente ya les aparece a ustedes para que lo puedan ver y practicar. Junto con la presentación de PowerPoint que les mando al, 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 al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Así es que 
si no pueden conectarse a clases, pues no se preocupen demasiado, ¿verdad? sí preocupense, pero no demasiado porque lo podemos repasar también en, en, en YouTube y, y, y revisar la presentación de PowerPoint, ¿ok? Good, now let's continue, let me see. Eh, Jolie, the most difficult part for you, Jolie. Re <laughs> repeat us to me, at eight. At eight. Oh, psh, very difficult, right? Now, Lilian. <laughs> Lilian, repeat, please. That sounds great. Lillian, that sounds great. That sounds great. Good. Now, Carla, please. So, do you want to have dinner at six? So, do you want to have dinner at six? Yes. And now, let me see who's next. Selena, please. Uh, oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Um, I like to, but I have to work late. Good. Sylvia, please. Oh, that's okay. Sylvia Jacobo, please. Oh, that's okay. Good. Now, Gabriel, let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Gabriel? Uh, uh, let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven and a half. Okay, my goodness, Gabriel. I like it. I like it that you change, right? 7.30 or seven and a half, right? Or half past seven, you can say two, right? Thank you, Gabriel. Now, Michelle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very difficult, right? Hey, Gris Grisel, are you there, Grisel? Hi, Grisel. No sé si me pueden escuchar. Sí, sí, eh, Grisel. That's you? Sí, le escuchamos, Grisel. Sí, ok. Pero, pero bien Bye. extraño sí, porque ve veo la, la señal, perdón. Este, perdón, déjeme ver. ¿Qué compañera era la que se le estaba yendo y viniendo al internet? Grisel Valdés. Sí, ajá, pero, pero no sé, en mi pantalla aparece Grisel, pero no le aparece el micrófono. Y escucho, escucho, perdón, pero no, no, no veo que el micrófono se le active. Grisel, ¿me escucha, Grisel? Hello, Grisel. Hello, hello, Grisel, how are you? Es que me saca por ratito de la reunión. Ah, Gracias. vaya, bueno. Inténtelo, pues, ¿verdad? Eh, ahorita sí puede contestarme. Vamos a ver si me, me repite esto. Que, por cierto, ya me perdí aquí. Uh, why don't we meet at the gate? Why don't we meet at the gate? Good, thank you. Now, let me see. Eh, eh, ¿Quién no ha participado? Vamos a ver. Jenny. Jenny, hello, Jenny. Repeat after me, please. That sounds fine. See you there. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, good, good evening. How are you, Jenny? That yeah. sounds fine. See you ah, there. Excellent. Very good. Right? Thank you. Eh, yo sé... I'm fine, teacher. Fine. Okay. It's, a it's a pleasure to listen. Thank you. <laughs> ok, listen, class. Eh, esta noche, pues, lo, le tocó lo más difícil a Michelle y a, a Michelle y a Jolie. Lo más difícil les tocó. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> ok, good. Any question about the conversation, class? Do you have any question? No. Ok. Good. So. Let's go to the second part, right? Lesson objective. Uh, Michelle, can you read the objective for the class, please? By, uh, lesson objective. By the end of the lesson, participants will comprehend. No sé cómo se 
Comprehend. Comprehend the use of wool in question and answers. Good. Thank you, Michelle. Wood, the modal wood, right? And we're going to practice wood in questions and in answers. Especially we use wood when we want to make invitation, right? Invitation. Would you like to eat some tacos? Would you like to eat some pupusas? Would you like to eat some nuegados with chilate? <laughs> Would you like to eat, drink some chuco with pan francés? <laughs> Okay, good. It's an invitation, right? An invitation. So we're going to, to check this tonight, right? Now, uh, look at the affirmative sentence, right? We have the subject, the modal would, the verb, the preposition to, and another verb, right? Kenneth would like to drink soda, right? Kenneth is the subject. Good is the modal, like is the verb to the preposition and another verb here, right? Drink, like, drink, okay? Now, they would like to cross the river. Subject they, modal would, like is the verb, the preposition to, and then cross. Also, you can use other words like love to cross, Hate to cross, need to cross, etc., etc., right? Now, other example. Yosabet would like to see her friend. Would, would like to see her friend, right? Subject, Yosabet, modal would, like the verb, to the preposition, and see the other verb, right? Marvin would like to eat chicken. Marvin is poyer, right? Like, like, like me. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> ah, me too, uh, Marvin. My wife said that I am a gavilan, right? <laughs> because I love chicken. Yes, yeah, so Marvin Wood, Marvin is the subject, right? Wood is the model. The bird is like, preposition to, and the other bird, the second bird is eat, right? The main bird is like, right? But this is like a complement, right? Good. Now, Look at this, please. Would and contraction, right? I'd, I would. You'd, you would. He'd, he would. She'd, she would. It, it would. With, we would. They'd, they would. This is the contraction, right? But the most common is I'd. That means I would, right? Now, let's practice pronunciation. Repeat it to me, please. Kenneth would like to drink soda. They would like to cross the river. Josabeth would like to see her friend. Marvin would like to eat chicken. Good. Any question about this? Any question? Teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, Lilian. Este, teacher, good is para futuro. No, no, for, well, is. Well, yes, I can say yes, right? But it's a very close future. Es un futuro cercano. Eh, si usted quiere invitar a alguien a tomar un cafecito con semita en su casa. <laughs> ok, me apunto, por cierto. <laughs> ca ca cafecito con, con semita, usted dice, quisiera. Ya, entonces no es como que, que lo hizo en el pasado, lo hace en el presente como una costumbre, sino que en el momento usted lo ofrece, ah, lo invita. Como cuando... Como cuando ya tenemos visita y le ofrecemos un vaso de agua, un Excellent, cafecito. Right. Cafecito okay. ahí. Pero algo fundamental, Lilian, que no se le olvide, cuando usted invita a cafecito, la semita es indispensable, ¿ok? <laughs> <laughs> ok. Ok. So, would, would like, in this case, is would like. Quisiera, le gustaría, ¿verdad? Le gustaría tomarse una soda. Would you like to drink soda? 
So in this case, Kennedy is the subject, right? Kennedy would like to drink soda. Yes. Ya vamos a ver las preguntas, pero aquí en el caso de Kennedy, Kennedy would like to drink soda, right? Okay. Kennedy le Thank gustaría you. tomar soda. Good. Any other question? Any other question? Yes, 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 yes. Jose. En, en, en este caso, like is, like tiene que ir siempre, would like. Generalmente, como es una invitación, José, sí. Sí, es una invitación. A veces puede decir love, love. O, pero es más común like, like. ¿verdad? Like. Pero podemos usarlo en otra estructura. Would you need, would you, would you have. ¿Ah? Pero siempre es querer hacer algo, querer hacer algo, ¿verdad? En este caso. Llevar a la acción. Lo más común es would like. Eso es lo más común okay. en todas partes en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? En todo el mundo. Would you like? Would you like? Ok. Ok. Good. Now, let's go to the next part, right? Here we're going to learn about negative, right? Subject, would, moda would, the word not, the verb, and the preposition to, and the verb. Eh, you know the difference between eh, modals and, and auxiliary, right? ¿Saben cuál es la diferencia entre auxiliares y modals? No. No, no, you don't know, okay. No, no, no. Antes de, de seguir, les voy a explicar. Give me a second. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain. Look. Okay, so, look. Models and auxiliary. No, better I put auxiliary first. Auxiliaries and models. What is the difference? Oh, oops, sorry. Auxiliaries are the verb to be, right? Are, I will copy here, to be. Here in this case is are, is, am, um, was, were, been, and being, right? Do, does, did, have, has, have, right? So these are the auxiliaries, right? Now the models are will, should, Could, may, might, can, must, good, right? entre otros, right? So, the difference, listen and pay attention, the difference between auxiliaries and models are that auxiliaries are very general, right? For example, the verb to be is about be, right? Ser o estar, right? Ser o estar. O yo soy o yo estoy. Simple like that. O do, does, and did talks about all the actions, all the action, right? All the actions in present and in past. And have, has, and have are for the present, for the pre perfect, sorry, for the perfect form, right? La forma perfecta. Now, in models, this is very specific. Will is for future. Should is for advice, consejo, right? Could is for possibility. May and might is for permission. Can is for ability. Most is for obligation. And would is for invitation, right? Or for desires, algo que me gusta hacer, que quisiera hacer, right? 
So again, auxiliaries are very general. Models are very specific. Auxiliaries are general. Models are very specific, right? Los modas tienen un uso especial cada uno. ¿Understand? Por eso si vean, si vean una gramática que dice auxiliary, es esto. Son todos estos, right? Estos que están aquí. Y si ven que dice model, son estos que están aquí. Son primos. <ríe> son primos, pero, pero tienen algunas sus diferencias por ahí, ¿ok? Any question? No questions, so let's continue, right? Let's continue with the presentation here. Uh, sorry. Ya me perdí, pero sorry. Um, here, right? Aquí estamos. Okay, good. Now, so in this case, we have subject, modal. Ahora sí entendemos cuando digo modal, right? Good. The word not, the verb, the preposition to, and the verb, right? Look, Kenneth would not like to drink soda. Oh, contraction, Kenneth wouldn't like to drink soda. They would not or wouldn't like to cross the river. Josabel would not like to see her friend. Marvin would not like to eat chicken. Would not equal to say wouldn't, right? Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Kenneth would not like to drink soda. Kenneth wouldn't like to drink soda. They would not like to cross the river. They wouldn't like to cross the river. Josabeth would not like to see her friend. Josabeth wouldn't like to see her friend. Marvin would not like to eat chicken. Marvin wouldn't like to eat chicken. Uh, sorry, do you have any question about this? Any question? Okay, let's continue, please. Yes, no question. How to make yes, no question with would? So we have the modal would, the subject, the verb, the preposition to, and the verb, right? So, to the difference of the other sentence, here we don't have subject and would. We have would and subject. So, we cross, right? We switch, we change. For example, would you like to drink soda? This is the invitation, right? Would you like to drink soda? Would they like to cross the river? Would she like to see her friend? Would he like to eat chicken? So this is the invitation, right? The invitation. Le gustaría, right? Like Leonardo DiCaprio said, right? Would you like to eat some pupusas? <laughs> Teacher. Leonardo DiCaprio is a fan of the pupusas. Ajá, uh -huh, Lilian. Y podríamos decir, eh, do you like, en lugar de good, do you like to drink soda? Excellent. You can say that, but it's not very polite. Es más amable decir, would you like? Do you like es También, bueno, siempre y cuando lo inviten a uno, ¿verdad? Estar, siempre y cuando me van a invitar a mí a tomar café con, con semita, digan lo que quieran, ¿verdad? Do you or would you? Pero would you, Lilian, es más amable. Ah, ok. Es más cordial, más, más formal, ¿ok? Que do okay. you like. Así que si nos invita a su casa, díganos, would you? Pero si invita a una hermana o a un hermano, dígale, do you? <laughs> do you like? <laughs> okay, good. Now, please, repeat after me, everybody. Would you like to drink soda? 
Would they like to cross the river? Would she like to see her friend? Would he like to eat chicken? Good. Questions? More questions? No questions? Okie dokie. So let's continue with the next one, right? WH questions. Look with wood. Now we use the WH word and then we use the, the model, right? Look, where would you like to go? A donde te gustaría ir, right? In December, oops, vacation, Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I would like to go to Canada or to Mexico, right? Where would you like to go? I would like to go to Mexico. Oh, I love to go to Mexico, right? Okay. When would they like to play? Cuando le gustaría jugar a ellos, verdad? When would they like to play? What would she like to do? ¿Qué le gustaría hacer a ella? What would she like to do? Okay, now, please, repeat after me. Where would you like to go? When would they like to play? What would she like to do? Okay, any question? No questions. So now we're going to make an exercise, right? Uh, Jose Guadron, you're going to make an invitation to Lillian, right? Yeah. Any invitation. Would you like to go to see a movie? Would you like to drink uh, a tea? Would you like to eat cake? Would you like to eat pupusa? Would you like to to play chess, jugar ajedrez, right? Any invitation, Jose. Ready? Okay. Okay. Lilian. Okay. 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 Bien, va. You Yo, made the invitation. Ahorita. You made the okay. invitation, Jose. <laughs> okay. Lilian, would Jose, you Jose. like... Huh? Yes. Lilian, would you like to drink coffee? Yes. I would. I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Oh, yes, listen, Lilian, you can say, yes, I like to. I like to. Okay. Yes, yes, I like to. Excellent. Or other, you can use also, I love to. The three, right? Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Or yes, I like to. Good. Now, Lillian, you make an invitation to Marvin. Marvin, could you like to eat chicken? <laughs> yes, I like. Okay. Come on, Lillian, you're mean, right? Qué mala es línea. Bien sabía que a Marvin le fascina el chicken, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay, good. Marvin, you make the invitation to Selena, please. Okay, Selena, would you like to uh, cross the volcano? Oh, the volcano, my goodness. Ah, uh, Selena. I will not. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Selena. Listen. You will say always yes, right? Selena, cuando nos hace una invitación siempre decimos no. Pero, perdón, decimos sí. Pero no. <ríe> sí, pero no, right? Entonces va a usar lo siguiente. Ya lo vamos a ver en, en el video. Eh, I love to, but... Y ahí usted pone una excusa. Por ejemplo, it's dangerous. O I don't like the volcanoes. O... Oh, my, my parents don't give me permission, etcétera, etcétera. O sea, usted le dice sí, pero no puedo ir por esto, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo lo dice? Okay. Uh, va a decir, I yes, love I to. No, no, I love to, va a decir. I love to, but... Y ahí le da la excusa. Vamos a ver. Eh, Marvin, haga la invitación otra vez. Ok. Eh, Selena, would you like to cross volcano? 
I love to, but I can tonight. Oh, I can do it tomorrow, right? Porque los volcanes en el día. I, I can do it tomorrow, right? No lo puedo hacer mañana. Okay, good. Now, just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. The power in my computer. So, uh, Selena, yeah, now you make an invitation to Silvia, please. Silvia. Hola. Selena, Silvia. you make... Would you like to eat pupusas? I like, I would like. I would like to, uh -huh. I would like to. Remember you have I to use like the, to. I would like to. You use the preposition too, right? I would like to. Oh yes, I would like to. Oh yes, I love to, right? Okay, Selena, you made an invitation to Jenny. One more time. Yes, other invitations, Selena, but okay. you. To, to Jenny, to Jenny. Jenny. Okay, okay. I to Sue. Uh, Selena, please. Excuse re me. Repeat, Selena. No le escuchamos. Would you like to Sue? To go to the Sue, right? Selena. Okay. To go to Would the you zoo. like to go to the Sue? Uh -huh, yes. Yes, I like. Yes, two. I like. Two. Two. Oh, I like to. Uh -huh, yes. But yeah. I, by, but I don't can. <laughs> but no, come on. No, Jenny, come on. <laughs> but, it's, but I, but I can. <laughs> es que suena pesado, eh? Yes, I love to, but I don't have time. Dígale, por <laughs> Mire qué mala, verdad, Jenny. Este. <laughs> Y ya abrieron el sub, ¿verdad? Ya abrieron, no. el, ya abrieron el sub. Va, ahora me va a invitar a Gerson. Jenny, make the invitation to Gerson. Ok. Would you like, would you like to eat pizza? Yes, I, I would. Yes, I would. Thank you. Now, Gerson... You make the invitation to Jolly, please. Uh, Jolly, would you like to drink drink coffee? Yes, I would. Or yes, I love to. Así es, ¿verdad, Ticho? Yes, yes, excellent, Jolly. Okay. <laughs> make an invitation to Michelle, right? Ok. Solo le paso Mi... el chambre que a Michelle le gustan las pupusas de arroz, así que por ahí, no sé. <risa> ok, come on. Uh, Michelle, would you like to go to the park tomorrow? Yes, I would like. Excellent. I would love, love to. Thank you. Now, uh, you make the invitation to Ana, Ana Mejiva, right? Anna, would you like to go to a, to see a movie? Um, I I love to, but um, I am tired. Oh, <laughs> come on. Very good. Eh, hay, hay un nuevo eh, autocinema, Ana, eh, que usted lleva su carro y ahí, puede, <laughs> ahí come palomitas y todo, bro, desde el carro. Yeah, y ahí me duermo. <laughs> <laughs> ahí se duerme en el carro. Hollywood se llama, perdón, no, no puedo decir marcas en, en la grabación, pero, pero es un nuevo, un nuevo lugar, perdón. I take a nap. Ok, good. You take a nap in the, in the, in the movie, right? Good, Ana. Yes. You made the invitation to Grisel, right? Uh, Grisel, would you like to go to the concert? Grisel, creo que le está fallando el micrófono a Grisel. Bueno, 
Mejor invíteme a mí, Ana. Vamos a ver, porque Grise le, le está fallando la señal. Ajá. Vaya, Javier, would you, would you like to go eh, to the concert or to the concert? To a, to a concert. To a concert. To a, to a concert. Would you like to go to a concert? I like to, but I don't like King Flick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. No, don't any, worry. Don't any, worry. <laughs> any questions? Any questions so far? No questions. No questions. Now let's go to the platform, right? ¿Por qué no le gusta King Flick? Ah, no, I'm kidding, right? No, la verdad es que solo he escuchado una canción de terremoto, terremoto. Pero ha, ha sacado otra por ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> no la he escuchado todavía. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's go to the platform. Nos vamos a la plataforma. Let me see. Yes, we have time. We have time. Let me see here, right? Okay, it's opening. Eh, let's go to this, right? Uh, an invitation here, right? Give me a second. Uh, perdón, el 4.8 ya lo hicimos. Could my date. Sí, ¿verdad? Ay, yes. sí, ya lo hicimos, sí. An invitation. Aquí es. Ya me había perdido. Ok. 4.10, yes. Conversation. An invitation, right? Y el 4.15 vamos a ver, Pich. Eh, lo vamos a ver mañana, Ana, porque fíjese que ya no nos alcanza. Mañana no hay clase. ¿Cómo no? Pero solo hay clases de 9 a 10, nada más. Yes. El viernes es que no tenemos clase, Ana. No es me quiero. Ah, es. Ya, ya, ya se quiere really? escapar de clase a, a ver aquí no. en concierto. No. No, me confundí. I'm <laughs> confused. Yes, I'm please. Confused. Don't miss the class tomorrow, Ana, please. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the conversation. Listen, please. Teacher, no se ve ni se oye. Ok. Give me a second, please. Dinner at six? Wait. Uh, Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Pero lo vamos a retroceder. Sorry, sorry. Siempre se cometen estos sosos aquí. Eh. Give me a second. Yo sentía que algo malo estaba pasando, pero no, no, no podía saber qué era. Ok, hoy sí podemos ver la pantalla. Can you see the screen? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. good. Man. In this lesson, participants okay. will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Now we're going to listen again and repeat, please. Ready? Listen and repeat. Expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. Ready? An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, 
Uh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Good. I need uh, two volunteers who help me with the conversation, right? Two volunteers, please. Who wants to help me? Yes, teacher. Jose. Dave for me. Okay, me. Dave. And me too. With, uh, Yolanda, Jolly, okay. So Jolly, you're Susan, right? Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cujucuyo in El Salvador, we present tonight <laughs> Jose Guadron and Jolly Vasquez. <laughs> I have I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Mm, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, see you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good, right? Now, any extra question about this? No questions? No. No. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's go and check the next video, right? Teacher. Yes, tell me. I uh, have the question, the pronunciation for um, la abreviación de the word, como I call la pronunciación. Okay, wait. It's I'd. I'd. Da, 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 da. I'd. 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 Huh? You'd. 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 She'd. She'd. Okay. Hid, etc., etc. The D, the okay. D, the, the, D. the, the, you, the, okay. I, the, okay. Good. Now let's watch this video about the structure of wood, right? By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. Remember, I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to. But I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. I'd like to. Now, uh, check it out this. Just give me a second. Okay, here. Would you like to go out on Friday? And then you can say three options. Look. Yes, I would. 
Simple, right? Yes, I would. Would you like to eat some pupusas? Yes, I would. Yes, I mm. Oh, yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to. I the preposition. You don't say only I liked or I loved. Only I love to or I like to, right? Thanks. Or I really like to go. You see? Mm, I really yeah. like to go. Or I like to go. Okay? Now, when you refuse an invitation, I, I say, right? Don't be rude. No sean rude, ¿verdad? Aunque no quieran aceptar la invitación, pero hay que ser político. <laughs> hay que ser amable, right? So it says, I like to bat. Look. Me gustaría, ¿verdad? Me gustaría, pero, you know, you say, I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money, right? To save money, right? Okay. And I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Oh, I like to, but I have to go to the park. Uh, or I am sick, or I, uh, or I don't like the movies, etc., etc. But you give an excuse, even if it's true or false, true or false, but you politely uh, uh, refuse the invitation, politely. Understand? Okay, do you have any extra question? Do you have any extra question for this? No, no okay. question. No questions. Okay, let me see. Uh, now, we have 4.13. Let me see. Uh, no, este está programado para mañana, right? With the one of Cristina Aguilera, ¿verdad? Uh, Ana me estaba preguntando si vamos a ver de Cristina Aguilera, pero, but no, tomorrow. Because we have to finish only section, section four, right? And uh, we only have this material. But uh, I don't know if you have any extra question about this. Let me check. Let me see this. Okay, I will show you this, right? Give me a second. This is the structure, right? This is the structure. And always remember that when you make invitation, you can make, uh, like Lillian said, right? Do you? Is correct, but if you want to be polite, very polite, uh, it's better. It's better to use wood, right? Wood. Okay. So, yes. any extra question? Is it clear? Yes. Okie dokie. So, thank you very much for your participation in the class. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Remember that on Friday. No classes. Vacation for everybody, right? Huh? <laughs> okay. God bless you. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.